We started our morning off by checking water holes for tracks. At this particular water hole, we found the track of a big bull alien. We picked up one very nice track early in the morning. Upon seeing that track, we knew that this was a bull worth following. With a 10 to 1 weight advantage over the whitetail, the eland's one of the world's most impressive big game animals. Wary and alert and amazingly quick and agile, the eland benefits by moving in herds, which makes the hunt equal to that of a whitetail deer. Alone, though, the edge goes to the whitetail. Many people consider tracking eland one of the greatest hunts in Africa. We're going along and, you know, I'm seeing a track every now and then. There are tracks everywhere. I've been hunting with Willie probably about 10 years now. He's exceptional at his job. He has phenomenal eyesight and extreme determination. Mululazi, he's the local game scout in the area. He's a second tracker for me and he knows the area very, very well and plays a huge role in us getting our trophies. Watching these guys track this animal, it's nothing short of amazing. We followed these tracks for, I'm gonna say, two or three miles. We look up ahead and there's this big group of zebra. Then all of a sudden, Willie or Mulalazi see Elon kind of moving off to the right. The second one is a young bull. First one's a cow. First one's a cow. Willie is of the opinion that we're getting close. We have spooked the zebra a little bit. They've run now. I don't think the Elon knew what was going on. He just knew that there was something happening over here. We just stand there and wait a few minutes, let everything calm down. And then we get back on the track again. Finally, just over an hour and a half, we got onto them while they were still feeding. Terry and I start glassing and looking ahead, and we see this eland standing under an acacia tree. The PHs try to get the clients within 100 to 150 yards. They don't like to take long shots. You tell me if it's him. If it's him, I'm going to shoot now. Because it takes a lot of effort if you wound an animal here. I got on the shooting stick. I'm on. I'm on. Okay, I'm going to take him. I'm going to take him. David's been on the trail of a big bull eland here at Sentinel and Popo Safaris in the southern region of Zimbabwe in hopes to get his sights set on him before the day comes to a close. Just over an hour and a half, we got onto them while they were still feeding. We see this eland standing under an acacia tree, but the problem was this eland is angling, quartering left away. But Terry says he may walk away, in which case this was the only opening we had. Okay, I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna take him. He's hit hard. We just shot a big bull and we moved forward just a little and caught him in a little opening there. Now what we hope is, is that we got him. Let's go see. Everything felt good. I made the shot, heard the bullet, co-op. I fully expected that eland to be laying 100, 200 yards out there dead. We were convinced we'd find this eland down at 100 yards. 50, 75 yards out, Willie picked up blood. Well, we tracked, and we tracked, and we tracked. When you go beyond about 200 yards and you haven't recovered an animal that you think you've hit good, you know that you're probably in for trouble. When you shot, he was three quarters. He was quartered hard away. Upon reviewing the video, the problem becomes apparent. The angle was greater than David thought, and the bullet had passed behind the eland's front leg and exited the massive brisket without hitting the vitals. The chase was on. We found there were actually four bulls as opposed to three we had initially thought. It's very difficult trying to identify a wounded animal in amongst a herd. That's him. That's him. You can see the way he's walking. Every time we saw them, they also saw us at distance, at four, five, six hundred yards. We finally caught up with Aylan after a couple of miles, but right before we got to them, we bumped into a herd of Impala. Our chances of getting them don't look real good. We'll see. By now, these Aylan know that we're on their trail, and they're starting to apply tricks. Getting in the middle of a zebra herd, getting in the middle of a herd of wildebeest, going straight downwind so they can smell you. These are clever animals. Unfortunately, he stayed with the group of bulls probably till about midday, where he eventually then separated from them and joined up with the herd of probably about 100 eland. We track this animal all day long. It is our responsibility to go after that animal. I However long it takes us, that's how long we've got to stay with him. I spent a very long night kicking myself for making a bad shot. 
We eventually figured out that he had split off and gone west along the Pi River. Having tracked the Elan the better part of two days and over 30 grueling miles so far, the physical exertion, the heat, and the mental anguish of possibly losing a magnificent animal were taking a toll on the entire hunting party. But the determination to stay on the trail until the end never waved. We've been trailing the Elan for two days now. We're hopeful that he may be close by here. Will and Malalazi are on the trail, and we're thinking we're getting close to this thing. We start pushing, and all of a sudden, Will and Malalazi drop down and they start pointing. Down. Can see Under a tree, we see the head and the shoulders of this eland. So we try to position for a shot. All of a sudden, he jumps up and he goes boiling out of there running. He runs about 75 yards. We run over, get in position for a shot. I'm gonna take him. I take a running shot at him. We hear the second shot. He managed to get a shot on him, which gave us some good blood trail to follow. We probably go another four or five hundred yards. I see him there. I see him. I can't shoot through this brush. Hey, just wait, just wait. Well, he thinks he's dead. He thinks he's dead. He thinks he's dead. Let's see yeah. something. Let's be sure. This looks like he's done. Yeah, I think he is. It looks good. He's done. Can you believe this? No. Oh, After two days, he yeah. just lay down right there, didn't he? Yeah. That last shot must have taken the toll, man. Finally. Our Elon is finally down. Well, Look at this thing. Thank well, you. Then, thank you. Thank you, Mel Lucy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Willie, you are the man now. You're the man. This is yours. This yeah. is here because of you. Two days on the trail. And finally, I can walk up and put my hands on this incredible beast. Over 40 miles we tracked this animal. Oh, he's just massive. He's huge. And he's old. Look at this. Yeah. What do you call yeah. this? A brush? We call it a mufus. It refers to a beard. And you can see how he's all rough. And yeah. Yeah, that's from hitting trees. and. Gee. Yeah, no, fantastic. What Couldn't a... ask for a better bull than that. Fantastic. Thank you so hunt. much. Tough hunt. Well done. You worked really Gee. hard for it. It was an honor and a privilege for me to see these guys at work. They recovered this animal among all those other animals, all the other problems and obstacles we faced. And in the end, it was dogged determination that got this eland. We had an incredible trophy, an incredible hunt watching those guys work.